PHP Storm 2019.3 is now released. Let's take a quick look at what's new and improved in this version. It's not just PHP Storm being released, as the PHP language has been updated too. PHP 7.4 is packed with exciting new features. When writing simple one-line lambda functions, you can now ditch this verbose syntax and use the short arrow syntax instead. Simply use the corresponding convert closure to arrow function intention action. Inside such a function, you'll get completion for variables from the outer scope. Working with long numbers can be a pain. Luckily, now you can use the add number separators intention action inside a numeric literal. The number will be formatted, and your code will become a little bit more readable. Before PHP 7.4, when you worked with a method inherited from a parent class, it was not allowed to define less specific parameter types and more specific return types for it. This is no longer the case, and you can substitute a parameter type with one of its supertypes, while a return type can be substituted by its subtype. PHP 7.4 deprecates left associativity for the ternary operator. From now on, PHP Storm will highlight the nested ternaries accordingly. If you still use them, however, you will need to provide parentheses to explicitly declare the order of computations, and PHP Storm will offer you a quick fix to do just that. There are even more deprecations in PHP 7.4, making the language cleaner and more pleasant to work with. In PHP Storm, new inspections will catch such deprecated usages and, where possible, let you fix them on the spot. The new PSR 12 standard replaces the older PSR 2, adapting it to all the recent language features. PHP Storm comes with a predefined PSR 12 code style. You can switch to it via the set from Action under Preferences, Editor, Code Style, PHP. As soon as you do it, PHP Storm also suggests enabling the set of PSR 12 code style inspections, which will check for certain rules violations. All set! You can now apply the code style as desired. Press Command plus Alt plus L in the editor to reformat your file. Run code, code cleanup manually, or do it automatically before the commit. As you may know, PHP Storm comes with an editor-based HTTP client, and we have made a bunch of improvements for it in 2019.3. The first new thing you'll notice is the editor toolbar, which provides you with quick access to common actions. Most of the actions here are pretty self-explanatory and not new, but make sure to try Run All Requests in File. This one is a new addition, and it'll do just that letting you chain multiple requests and execute them in one click. In long requests, for example, multi-part form data, or having some complex response handler scripts, PHP Storm now lets you fold either an individual request's parts or everything at once. When composing a new request, you no longer need to type the host name you used earlier. PHP Storm will offer you a list of host names in the suggestion list. In your request, you can now use dynamic variables, UUID, timestamp, and random int. When you run your requests, they will return a UUID, the current Unix timestamp, and a random integer between 0 and 1000 correspondingly. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about the HTTP client, check out our new overview video. PHP Storm now supports WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux, letting you launch it on a Windows machine, but target WSL Linux in your development. To get started, make sure you have enabled the WSL feature on your Windows 10 machine, install the Linux distribution of your choice, and have PHP running on it. Next, set up the WSL-based interpreter in PHP Storm. No surprises here. Under File, Settings, Languages and Frameworks, PHP, add a new remote interpreter based on WSL. That's it! You can now use this remote interpreter just like any other. Run scripts, tests, and composer commands, execute run, debug configurations, and so on. This release is packed with various small time savers and improvements here and there. Traditionally in PHP Storm, the entire PHP doc block was displayed in a single color and styled just like regular comments. Now, doc blocks support highlighting for types, variables, parameters, methods, and properties. If you have HTML in your comments, it will also be highlighted. The if-else statement is probably the most used construct in the language, so we've added several handy context actions for manipulating such conditions. Our all-time favorite keyboard shortcut, Alt plus Enter, is here for you to rule them all. If you have an assignment inside an if statement, you can extract it to a variable. Nested if conditions can now be quickly merged into one. 
You can merge an else followed by if into a single else if. Or do the opposite and split an else if into else and if. Earlier, your test run configurations could only be executed through the default project PHP interpreter, which was inconvenient at times. This is no longer the case. Now, you can choose any interpreter that you have configured and run your tests with it. Of course, you can use Docker, Vagrant, or any other remote interpreter. In this release, we introduce a special PHP dialect called Injectable PHP. It looks and works similarly to regular PHP, but the opening tag is not required. Injectable PHP is automatically injected into markdown fences with the info string equal to PHP. Here doc now doc strings with PHP marker and into eval function calls. In the new version, you can choose the font face and colors for this occurrences. Head straight to preferences, editor, color scheme, PHP, identifiers, and customize it as needed. Pro tip. If you are currently in the editor, position the caret at this, open the find action, command plus shift plus a dialog, search for jump to colors and fonts, and from there, jump straight to the corresponding settings page. Now you can sort lines alphabetically. Select them in the editor, and choose edit, sort lines from the main menu. Or run this action from Find Actions, Command plus Shift plus A. Now, when you select some code piece and press Command plus F or Control plus F on Windows to search for a string, PHP Storm will by default search only within the selection. If you need to extend the search area and search throughout the whole file, press Command plus F again, or alternatively, toggle the In Selection option on the toolbar. This sums up the major new features in PHP Storm 2019.3, but there's a lot more in store. Learn more on our blog at blog.jetbrains.com slash phpstorm and download the new version from jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Thanks for watching.